As you were here at Bar Blue to promote uh, a comedy night with Leon Osman, just tell us a little bit about what's coming up on March the 22nd and how the idea came about. Uh, well, coming up is is a comedy night for uh, for my charities and, and for the testimonial year, and you know I'm delighted when when Chang and, and the Blue Bar approached me about putting it on, and you know I'm, I, I couldn't resist, you know, the, the opportunity to to do more for the charities and to and to have a, a nice good night doing so. You've got that reputation as the joker in the dressing room. Whenever we ask the other players who it is, they always say you. How important do you think that, that humour is in the dressing room? It's important around a football club. I mean, you know, I, I tend to disagree with them. You know, I'd, I'd name a couple of others in the squad that, that, are the joke, that are the jokers. But, you know, this is a different kind of comedy. This is asking someone to stand on stage and, and make people laugh. And, you know, I don't think that's an easy thing to do. And, you know, great credit to anyone who can do that. If you had to pick one of your teammates then to come here and put them up on stage, uh, for good or bad, who do, you, who do you pick, do you think? I think Bainsey would be the funniest, to be honest. He's, uh, he's got some great one-liners, although he'd probably need a few props and a few other players up there to, to make fun of, to be honest. Is there anyone that wouldn't relish it, who just hate the prospect of being up there, being jeered, I guess, as well? Yeah, him all. Yeah, he'd <laughs> hate it. Absolutely hate being on that stage. Um, and he's quite a funny lad, but... Uh, you know, it'd be very uncomfortable still on that stage. The evening itself, you're looking forward to being there and to seeing the acts that are on show. Just what can fans who come along expect from the evening, do you think? A good night, um, a lot of laughs and, and, and a good atmosphere. And hopefully, you know, we'll all, we'll all come and get together and, and enjoy a great night. We're getting towards the end of your testimonial year now. When you look back, how do you reflect on how it's gone? And of course, the most important thing, raising the money for your two chosen charities. Yeah, Clare House and Make a Wish. Hopefully, um, you know we've raised a lot of money over the course of this year for for them charities, and um, you know I've had a great year. You know I've had a game, and, and this will be three uh, three events now um, on top of that. So um, you know it's been a great great year spread out, and, and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm hoping to see lots of fans down here on the 22nd. Just how important has it been to have that backing of, of Evertonians during this year, as you've been trying to raise money for the two charities, as you say. It's been incredible, uh, but it's not just been this year. It's been over the course of my career, you know, to have had um, had the opportunity to play for this club and, and to have the special fans, um, you know, supporting me and, and and you know making the journey with me, I suppose. And you know, I've I've enjoyed this year, especially being the testimonial year, and hopefully it'll finish finish really really well this this uh, this comedy night.